Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Mesh Modeling Modes and Viewport Shading. Although there are a number of different modeling strategies available in Blender, at its core, Blender is primarily a mesh modeling application. That is, most of the modeling operations in Blender are performed on mesh objects. To be more precise, polygonal mesh objects. Here I have placed a primitive UV sphere and a primitive cube object into my Blender scene. Now how these mesh objects are displayed in the 3D Editor Viewport window is largely determined by two factors, the Mesh Modeling Mode and the Viewport Shading. I will right-click Select the UV Sphere. Currently, this UV Sphere object is in Object Modeling Mode. You can see this by the Mode Notation located on the 3D Editor Viewport header. When in object mode, any transformations, modifications, or constraints applied to the object will affect the mesh as a whole. A second, quite frequently used modeling mode is called Edit Mode. To place an object into Edit Mode, click on the Tab button. I will zoom in a bit here so that you can see this closer. In Edit Mode, we can see the individual components that structure the polygonal mesh. By default, all of these subcomponents are selected and thus it looks all yellow. I will click on the A key to deselect all of the components so you can see it more clearly. Notice that the mesh is composed of vertices. I will select a few here. These vertices are connected by lines called edges. On this sphere, when four vertices are connected by edges, they form a third component called a face, which appears here in edit mode as translucent. It is actually these faces that we see in object mode. Here I will hit the tab button again and go back into object mode. Notice that the faces are displayed as facets on the sphere. The Tab key is a toggle between Object and Edit Mode. Tab into Edit Mode. Tab back into Object Mode. The reason the faces of the UV sphere appear to be solid in Object Mode is because this 3D Editor viewport is currently set to Solid Shading. You can see this by clicking on the Viewport Shading icon located on the 3D Editor window header. I will switch to an alternate shading mode called Wireframe. Note that with the object being in both Object Modeling Mode and Wireframe Shading Mode, it's represented in the 3D Editor window as a modified display of the sphere's edge components. The wireframe is yellow because the object is still selected. I will click on the A key deselecting the UV sphere so that you can see that the wireframe is black. I will zoom out here so that you can see both the sphere and the cube objects. Note that both objects are shaded in wireframe. The shading mode affects all objects displayed within that specific 3D editor window. I'll split this 3D editor window horizontally into two windows. I will now set the viewport shading on the top window to solid. I will now select the sphere so that you can see the difference between object mode between the top viewport set to solid viewport shading and the bottom viewport set to wireframe viewport shading. I will now click on the tab key placing the selected UV sphere into edit mode. Here you can see the difference in editing mode between the top viewport set to solid viewport shading and the bottom viewport set to wireframe viewport shading. Here I will tab back into object mode. Blender provides a toggle key to go back and forth between solid and wireframe viewport shading. This is done by pressing the Z key. Here I will place my cursor over the lower viewport and click the Z key changing the window to solid viewport shading. Here I will place my cursor over the top viewport and click the Z key, changing the window to wireframe viewport shading. 